guys, welcome back to the Planner Pixie Co. Show. I am so excited about today's video. Not only because I'm actually filming a new release video, that just means I'm a little bit ahead and that is super, super exciting. Um, but also because we have a new kit reformat and it's kind of a big deal because I've not did a complete kit reformat in probably about two years. So I'm very stoked to show this to you guys. Uh, my whole goal of this was to get rid of all of the add-ons and combine some things and have a cheaper option for you guys because a lot of you were buying the kit plus all the add-ons and paying upwards of 30 plus dollars for a kit. I, first of all, thank you so much. I'm so glad that you're so dedicated to PPC and that you guys love what I'm putting out for you, but trying to go a different way and to provide you a cheaper way of going about it. So if you're in the Facebook group, then you've already seen this. I've had a lot of good feedback on it. Some of you had some concerned about concerns about some things and we're going to get into that too but we have three new collections for this week and a little bit of foil i know you guys are going to love that foil so each collection that is new this week is going to be in the new format but let's go over real quick the old format and then we'll compare so with the old format there was six pages with add-ons so you always got the six page kit which looks like this um, and you always had headers uh, to go with the kit in this form right here. But there was only six colors per header. I'm not really sure why I've done that. I think I was just trying to fit this size of a box. And that's all that fits. So that is one complaint I've had over the years. Uh, and so that's changed. You always did have the option the option, the option, the option to add on more if you needed them, but it was just six per color. So you had, this was your six pages of the kit. And then you always had the option to add on deco, fitness. You had an icons sheet and you had a work and a school label that looked like this too. So, all right, that's the old format. So as we're going through the new format, let's just admire this new kit <laughs> first. So this one is called Easter and I just really love these colors. This is Coffee Doodles R and y'all may not, may not, you may know or you may not know that um, she usually does two different colorways. One was more of a pastel, which you probably would think I would go towards, but I don't know, something about these colors called my name. I think it's that blue. I think it's like that more, the darker blue. It's really, really pretty. So this one is called Easter and nothing really changed on this page other than I did freshen up my sidebar situation here. So I'll show you the difference. I changed it from having the little dots across the top and I did change my font on both things. I made that a little bit smaller. I really love this new font. So only thing different on that page is that I just think it's really like sleek and like sophisticated looking. That's what my husband said. It looked professional. That's what he called it. <laughs> All right. So here is your second page. This is your washi sheet. The only thing that changed on here are your date covers. So I did do a different date cover. I used to have like the, uh, what do you want? Like a paint splash effect, I guess. I don't really know what you call it. Um, I used to have something similar to this before. This is one of the things that I've changed along the way without actually changing the format. But I don't know. I was just feeling like going back to something that looked like this. I think it's really, really pretty. So let's compare what the old ones look like. Um, all right, here is the difference. It's quite a bit of quite a big difference on this one. Um, but I don't know. Here's the thing. I just needed a change, you guys. And like from a business standpoint, you can't expect to grow if you don't change along the way. And that's just another reason that I felt like a reformat was needed. Uh, we're in a new year and I just need some new, I just need some new fresh things to the shop. So this is my one way of doing that. But yeah, washi sheet. <clears throat> excuse me the only thing that changed was your date covers here okay 
So we have a brand new box sheet. So this is what your old box sheet looked like. You had the scallops, you had two rows of this size, you had two rows of your half boxes, and you had all of your little um, single check boxes down here. So it now looks like this. I did get rid of the scallops. Some of y'all were concerned about the scallops. We're going to talk about that. I added a new row of the straight across labels. I took out a row of half boxes and added two rows of third boxes. And you no longer have the little check boxes down here, but they are on a different page. Um, not only do you have one page of this in patterns, but you have another page of these in solids. So um, this is probably my favorite part of this. You guys know I add extra to the kits every week to make them work for me because I use a ton of boxes. So this is very exciting for me. Okay, so <clears throat> this is your other page, sorry. This is your other page that slightly changed and then I'm pretty sure the rest of the pages, yeah, are like completely different. So this is what the old page looked like. I did take out the three heart checklist added your check boxes up here. We now have these new three heart checklists. They don't have this on it anymore, but I freshened that up. Um, as far as your six heart checklists go, I have completely omitted them. Um, I feel like a lot of us don't use them anymore, but my compensation was to do three heart checklists and I do have some more on a different page. So you have a total of eight of those. And I will say that on the printable, this is the printable only, on your extras sheet, I have been putting the six box checklist on there for those of you that need them, um, if they will fit. And um, as far as physical goes, it's just gonna be what you see here. Okay, so I did omit a couple of bill dues and I added your um, habit trackers here. And then these are pretty much the same. So these are header size or could be used as a little washi strips. I did change the fonts here. This is the font that I use in all of my plan with me's. You guys seem to really like that one. I'm getting all my stuff mixed up, guys. Hold on. Okay. All right, so the rest of these sheets have completely changed. How many was that? That was one, two, three, four, five. Normally this would have been your last sheet. So these other, wait, no. How many have I already done? Oh, I added, sorry. <laughs> I am the best YouTuber ever. We've already went through four sheets, guys. This is five. This next one would have been your last one. This is completely different than any other. Normally it would have been this, but it's completely changed. Okay, here's where it gets good. You now have all of your headers on the big sheet. There's seven per color. Super excited, right? Um, you have four more of the three heart checklists. The work labels have completely changed. Uh, have completely went away from scallops. I know some of you are going to be very sad about that. Um, again, we'll talk about scallops at the end. New font, new work labels. You do have six of these. And then we have a new size of... Um, box down here more like a label so this is smaller than my normal little labels that I normally have so we've got a new size that's what that page looks like here is your what would this be your seventh page you now have double of these little squared off boxes you have eight more of the new size labels you have your flags here and you have uh, check, check, check marks, <laughs> arrows. <laughs> I cannot talk. Use your words, Randy. You have arrows. You guys should be very excited about that. I'm very excited about that. I know you guys are because I hear about arrows all the time from my plan with me. So I think this will be more than plenty to use for a week. I don't think I use that many in a week. This is pretty exciting too. So. I'd had a couple of you want full, not full, half box extenders. That's what this is. These are my little half box extenders that I usually make myself extra every week. We now have two 
per kit. Very exciting. All right, so your eighth and final page has a lot of stuff combined. You now have your deco, you now have your icons, you now have your date dots all on the same page. Nothing to add on. We have a new weekend banner, which I just love this font. It's the same font as the Planner Pixie Co. It's bigger. Some of you guys wanted a bigger weekend banner. It is bigger. You have a new movie marquee. Very cute. All of your numbers, and I did completely change all of the icons. So I do have these available in the shop. I should have pulled this out. I know you guys have seen me use some of these during my plan with me's. So this is what they look like before. I have them very neutral in the shop. Change them where they're just a simple um, white line with the color behind it. And I just love these. I think they're so cute. So all the icons completely changed and we have some new ones like a hamburger, pizza, taco. I just love it. So that is it as far as the kit reformat guys sorry i'm making all kinds of racket um let's go over what's missing all right so the biggest probably most noticeable thing that's missing completely is the fitness sheet um when i first designed this fitness sheet like i used it a lot and i just don't even use it anymore um a lot of you do purchase it, but I don't feel like it's enough for me to continue making it every single week for every single kit. I really had to look at this from a business standpoint, and I don't think it's worth my time and effort to do it every single week. So what I had said in the Facebook group is that I would do, I would freshen this sheet up too. I'm not going to keep it exactly the same. I'm going to freshen it up with new fonts and things like that. Um, and add a multicolor line to the shop so that with each fitness kit it would be like one certain color and you could buy all of the colors and make them work in you know all of the different kits so I think that's what's going to happen to this page um, and also the scallops so some of you were sad to see the scallops go I can do a multicolor line in the scallops too I mean we can do a multicolor line in whatever pretty much anything but um that's the only way i know how to be able to get those things to you guys those of you that really wanted those types of things to stay so i guess a multicolor line is in the future the near future <laughs> and also the scripts on the deco page you guys I'm going to be adding scripts to the shop. So I know a lot of you are excited about that. It won't be this font. It's probably going to be the font that I use in my videos. But I had also thought about doing like different fonts here and there. I do want to open up customs to you guys eventually. That's going to take a lot of work on my part. But I thought maybe we could do like one, like one font at a certain time and then if I find a new fun one we could take customs for a different font but as far as something that's going to be in the shop at all times I probably will just go with one font which is going to be the ones that I use in my plan with me so you guys seem to really like that one so that will probably be the one and it is super easy for me to make fonts with that one because I do have that little hack that I use that I know I really need to show you guys I'm just busy okay so that was the kit reformat and I think that's all I needed to tell you about it. I feel like I'm forgetting something. If you have any questions whatsoever, just let me know down below. But let's get into the other two collections. I feel like this is going to be the longest new release video ever. So this is the one and only St. Patrick's Day kit that I'm doing for the year. I only usually do one every year. So this is it. But I just think it's so pretty. So I named this one Happy Go Lucky and I just love that little dog. And I love that there is Lucky Charms on top of the pancakes. I just think it's really, really pretty. So let's go through the rest of the sheets. This is your extra box on the washi sheet. And let me also say that sometimes I might have add-ons to these kits, but it'll only be like fashion girl add-ons or like family add-ons, like extra box add-ons. It won't be like the normal add-ons that we had. So that 
is happy go lucky and then your last and final kit for the week is called cottage core so pretty very springy i mean kentness girl jess just is she's very talented right <laughs> she has some of the best art it's just so pretty i wish i could draw this good um, again, this one is called Cottage Core, and here is your extra box. It is supposed to look faded like that, you guys. It's like, I'm assuming that it's like the light shining in the room, um, but just know that it's, it's a little faded right here, and it's supposed to look like that. So I love this washi situation. Here is the rest of the kit. I'm so excited about having so many patterns on a box. That's something that I've heard along the way is I don't have enough pattern boxes in my kit. So I hope you guys enjoy that. There is all eight of that kit. And we have some foil this week and I'm super excited. We have two new underlays and two new script overlay so the first two i'm going to show you are easter related we have some easter egg underlays <laughs> these are so stinking cute now this is the pink hollow and then here is what the script overlays look like this is also in the pink hollow so this one says happy easter hippity hop this says chocolate bunnies and chicks egg hunt springtime happy easter and this one just says hoppy easter and it's got the little bunny face and ears on the h super adorable and i am changing out all of the sides on anything i'm gonna try this is gonna take me a really long time to do but any of the foil that i'm gonna keep in the shop i'm going to go back and change out because i just love i just love my new little like i guess logo type situation okay so these <coughs> excuse me i don't know why i'm getting so choked up let me take a drink oh my gosh okay sorry about that the other foil that I have for you is St. Patrick's Day related. And I'm so happy with these underlays. I worked on these underlays for about an hour, maybe 45 minutes last night. Is that not the cutest? So this is in the green foil from the shop. I took every single clover and resized and every dot <laughs> and played Tetris with it to make it fit and I just love the way it turned out I'm just I just could not find like a pattern paper that I was really really happy with as far as the shamrock goes so very happy with how that turned out so this is the green and I also did it in a gold here is it in gold those are gonna be so fun with that kit and your script overlays are also St. Patrick's. So this is also in the green. This one just, there is that same clover. That's where I, where I pulled it from. So this one just says a lot of different things. It says, look up the Irish, 317, green, March, pitch proof, lucky, Ireland, happy St. Patrick's Day, and leprechauns. Then you have a rainbow there that says, happy go lucky, Irish kisses, and shamrock wishes, and let the shenanigans begin. I just love those. So that is it for new releases and for the reveal of the new kit reformat. I hope you guys love everything. I hope that you're satisfied and happy with the kit reformat. Again, any questions or concerns, please let me know below. I'm going to still try to accommodate as many people as possible <laughs> and try to bring things to the shop that are missing in um in a different way so that is it from me today you guys and i will talk to you hopefully friday i hope i'm gonna film <laughs> a plan with me this week too but i will talk to you later bye